hello, hello. Hey, hold on. Wait, oh, hi, hi. Okay, give me one second to go get my drink. Okay. Uh -huh. Hi, it's me, it's Paul Carpenter. This is number six of 365. It's called Redemption. So I'll start in five seconds. Here we go. Good morning, good afternoon, and good night. It's me, it's Paul Carpenter, and I am here. I hope that you're doing well, and I hope that wherever you are is doing good for you. This is number six of 365. It's called Redemption. We all deserve it. Can you give it? So, you know, there's this idea that, especially like in the idea of like the, 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 the religious doctrines of this world. Oh, sorry with the religious doctrines of this world, there's this idea that redemption is something that everybody and anybody can get. But it's also something that you can get while you're here. And I think that's the key, right? One of the lessons of our lives is that we must learn when someone wrongs us to find a line of communication to be able to reconnect to what was there before. And if you can't find the full value of what was there before, at least you can find something that gives you a, a place of an even keel. No one's better or worse. No one's, uh, you know, did, did this or that. Because in the end, like I said yesterday, it's like a quilt. We're all different size quilt pieces, and each one of us vibrant in our own color. And so, the thing I talk about when I'm asking about redemption is like, now I saw a story about uh, a woman who had her child murdered by some freaking psychopath, right? And they're all like in court, so it wasn't very long after the child had passed away that this mother looked into the camera of a news kind of thing and was just like, I mean, something to the effect of, right? But she said something like, you know, I won't ever have my child again, but... I, I forgive this man for what he did. And I, 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 I know that he only did it out of pain. And there was something in me that happened when I saw her that was so overwhelmed with how she could be so okay. And I know that she wasn't okay. But there was something that she had, there's some kind of strength, there's some kind of connection to source, or I don't know. But this woman had this compassion in her heart. She had gone through the penultimate fucking thing that you can go through in your life, which is losing a child. And she gave this man compassion. And I asked myself, could you do that? And I was like, fuck, no, I wouldn't be able to do that. And then I asked myself, why? Because I realized that we all have to be able to do that. Because if we can't do that one thing, if we can't give each other the ability to give ourselves redemption, wow, bro, we'll never get any better. We'll never have any uh, 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 even keel across the board for all of us. There will always be someone still upset at the past. There will always be someone upset with anxiety of the future. And what do you get from that? And I've talked about this idea before where somebody hurts you and what you do is you go to them and you tell them that you are never going to forget, but at the same time, you still found a place of compassion and love and empathy for them 
and I, I've explained it in the idea of the wheelchair, the guy in a wheelchair with no arms and no legs, he hurt you. Uh, whether it's someone who did it emo emotionally or intellectually to you, they did it out of being in a wheelchair. They're using this little thing in their mouth to drive around. It's, it, 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 how, how, how do you get upset with that person for doing what they did to you? They didn't do it on purpose. That did not happen on purpose. The pain that was created in your life like that was not done on purpose. It was done based on their fear. It was done based on their anxiety or their regrets or their history that then places ideas in their mind that, 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 that makes them do certain things. But that doesn't mean they don't care about you. That means they're confused. That means that they're scared. That, that means whatever. I mean, I've done it. Look at me. I'm a fucking crazy son of a bitch. I lose my shit. I fucking flip out. I start posting all kinds of crazy on the internet. I'm taking down people's lives. What kind of person am I? How much better am I? And so it's like, that's what these videos have always been about, right? I've said it since day one. These videos aren't necessarily so much about for you guys as they are for me because I want to learn. I want to be a better person. And it's through the interactions of what I do on Facebook and the crazy shit I post and all these like uh, ideas that are contradictory to themselves. All of it is in an effort to learn and an effort to use the school of life in a, in a kind of, I don't know, petri dish experiment an experiment with my own life because I'm we're all experimenting with our lives we're all going around trying to figure our own selves out and our own things we're all fucking confused so we all need to be able to give each other redemption be able to give somebody else who's been a fucking psychotic, fucking crazy, absolute, insane motherfucker who's killed millions of people, who's m raped fucking children and everything, give them redemption, whether they deserve it or not. Because if you hold on to that anger and pain, when you need redemption, you won't be able to give it to yourself. And with that, my friends, please go out to the world and do something nice for somebody else. If you can't, do something nice for yourself because it does start with you. Number two, don't get caught up in all the crazy stuff in this world because there's a lot of crazy stuff going on right now. And if that's all you think about, that's all that's going to be in your mind. So don't do that. Think good thoughts. Read good books. Listen to good music. Listen to some good self-help meditation shit. Be a good person. It's not that hard. It feels better when you're nicer. And number three, if you don't mind, please like, share, subscribe. Send this out to somebody who might need to hear it or see it. I love you. I really do. I really do. And I love you so much. I'll see you all on the other side.